Hi everybody, happy Friday. It is Friday, September 8th. And I wanna share a little different message because of the time of the year. It is that time of the year when um, a lot of us are thinking about post-secondary plans, uh, particularly our seniors are deciding if they wanna to go to community college, military, post-secondary training, apply directly to a four-year school. There are a lot of choices to be made this time of the year. Juniors uh, are right now um, heading into the meat of their most important academic year um, for any of the choices that they choose to make. And sophomores, a very, very, very important year as well um, academically. Um, so it is really important that we have some concepts that we share and we talk about some of these things with our families and at school as well, and we share some of that messaging. And the first piece is you need to make sure that you control the controllables. So what I mean by control the controllables is there are certain things in life that we have control over. Let me give you an example. You do not control which college accepts you. That is not your decision. It is not an outcome you have any control over. It is mysterious. We often don't have any idea why colleges take one student over another student. We have amazing students who apply to colleges and don't get in and we have no idea why they are accepted or are not accepted. What you do have control over is how hard you work toward your grades, the classes that you choose to take, um, the other things that you choose to do to put yourself in a position to be able to apply, meet minimum requirements or better than minimum requirements. You have control over those things, how much time you put into studying, how much time you put into other activities, taking care of your mental health, finding balance in your life so that you manage all those things. Those are things that you have control over. We should worry about controlling those items, not the items we cannot control. When we spend time worrying about things in our lives that we have no control over, we can become really frustrated and really anxious. So our message is always to our students, control the controllables. Second is this. We should all be sitting down as families, as students, parents, brothers and sisters potentially even, and talking about how do we define success? What does it mean to be successful in life? What is your family's definition? What is your definition as a student? Does success mean going directly to a four-year college, just getting a college degree, going and getting your AA from community college? Does it mean faith? Does it mean a healthy, happy family? Does it just mean being happy? Does it mean some financial security? There are so many different things that can help us define what success means for us. It's really a family decision. It's your decision. But what we do find is when the parent's decision or the parent's view and definition of what success means does not align with what the student's definition and expectations for success is, then we have a real disconnect and our students get mixed messages and they feel that they're supposed to do things that maybe we don't even expect them to do. And sometimes they put pressure on themselves that parents and family members didn't mean to place on them. So understanding sort of that shared family definition of success, that is super important to making post-secondary plans, deciding what classes to take in your sophomore year in your junior year, and yes, freshmen, you're gonna to have to make some critical decisions in January, February, to decide what classes you're gonna take in the critical academic year of your sophomore year. To do that, you need to choose wisely, and you need to know after high school, what's your goal? If you wanna be successful, what does that look like, and does your family, does your family share that with you? And when you do and you get on the same page, it's much easier to decide on and collaborate on what classes do you need, what grades are you gonna set as goals, what other achievements do you need to include, and again, what are those post-secondary goals? And it makes our relationships a lot stronger. So we really wanna encourage you this time of the year to, again, control the controllables in your life, okay? And not worry about the things that are out of your control. There's just too much to worry about if we do that. And two, Make sure that you talk about as a family unit your shared definition of success. If you do those two things, the process of applying to colleges or choosing a career or any kind of pathway, post-secondary, military, et cetera, 
um, I think is a lot smoother. That's been our experience. So I hope that helps. And as always, it's Friday, everybody. It's been a great start to the school year. We're really rolling now in September and um, really enjoying our group of kids and being enjoying being around you guys. So as always, read a good book without pictures. Have a passion for something positive. Tell your family you love them this weekend. And our keyword is balance. Have a great weekend, guys.